Hey guys, welcome back to Nappy Missy 101. And tonight I am here to give you an update on my rice water challenge. Of course, because it wouldn't be a challenge if I didn't give you an update. So I'm going to give you an update on my rice water challenge. And as you can see, I've just washed my hair. I washed my hair with some Cara Care, like my, fair, my most favorite product. I've been using this for years. I use this and sometimes if I really want my hair like squeaky 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 clean I would just use black soap and um, I did that and then um, for my treatment my hair treatment I used a firm so yeah I used a firm and yeah I only use this sometimes I don't use it all the time and now we're here so of course guys, I have my rice water that I'm going to spray into my hair. I also have my flaxseed or linseed hair gel. And if you want to know how to make this, I'll leave the link in the description below. So just look out for that if you want to know how to make that. And of course if you want to know how to make the rice water, if you want to know how I made this one. I'll leave the link in the description below as well. So I'm just going to spray that. Guys, I haven't washed my hair almost two months, like seriously. Yes, I have on my pajama. I am like out of my favorite shea butter um, mixture that I get from Bermuda. But I do have another one from the same lady. And this is her name brand. That's her name brand and um sh 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 Shasaya Shasia She's gonna kill me that I don't need this name. But yeah, it's it's um it's almost the same stuff but just a different color and it's a mousse and you can use it on your skin and your hair. Just like the other one you can use on your skin and your hair. But I religiously use it um in my hair and on my scalp and it's so it's so smooth guys it's like it's just like whipped cream like seriously just like whipped cream and it smells so divine oh goodness it's just, just so good so I'm going to take some of that and just rub it guys I did wash my hair like I said and um, I was having problems with shedding and things like that and I think I still am I think I still am I had loads of hair coming out and when I went to wash my hair and fingle detangle this time a lot of hair didn't really come out I think this rice water is like really 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 working let me just show you how much her has came out. So obviously her just came out. Her just came out. I'm just taking it off my fingers. And then, and then, um, where is it? Oh. So I'm putting that bit that I just got out of my hair with this. And this is everything that came out of my hair, guys. This is after using, this is the 10th day of using the um, rice water. And so, as you can see, it's really working. I'm sorry I don't have my other, before I started using this, how much hair came out. It was so much. It was like, it was like this much hair, guys. Like this amount in here. And now it's done to that. So... I got peppermint in my rice water and I could just feel it it's just so cool and relaxing on my scalp okay guys so now I'm going to put in flaxseed hair gel or linseed whatever you want to call it this is my hair gel it's really good it really detangles your hair as well and adds um, it's good for protein. It's just really good for your hair altogether. 
I'll leave some benefits of it in this um, in the description box. I have an interview tomorrow for university and yes I am old but you're never too old to educate yourself and to grow you know so I have an interview tomorrow to go to a university for September so right now I'm in college um, doing a course in nursing and midwifery and it's challenging, a bit challenging, but the help is there if you want it and if you ask for it. And um, so far, so good. I'm doing really well in my assignments. And honestly, I didn't really expect it on myself because I didn't grow up like in school. Like I only liked school, like just to socialize, you know? But I'm doing the damn thing, you know? I ain't got no younger. I don't know how I would do it without God. Like, the strength comes from Him and Him alone. Like, it's not myself, you know what I mean? Because sometimes I look back and I'm like, whoa, I don't even have energy. Like, how did I just do that? How did I just do that night shift and then go sh take my kids to school and then me, myself, go to school and then come home and pick them up? And it's like, I don't know where the energy... I can't say that I don't know where the energy comes from because it comes from Him. It comes from God. And, you know, He is my strength. You know, here's my here's my strength, and that's all I can say. Without him, nothing's possible. Through him, all things are possible. Through God, all things are possible. And I just want to keep those of you that maybe think who are parents, single parents, in the thirties or even forties or fifties, no matter how old you are, if there is a goal that you want to achieve, no matter how old you are, no matter what obstacles you feel might be in your way listen you could do it if you want to do it you will put your mind to it and you will you will um prioritize and you will position yourself like to achieve those goals that you have like you guys don't make excuses okay if you want something go for it go for it that's all i could say don't put it off for tomorrow or another day or when you get some money or when you get listen wherever you are there are resources there are people that can help don't be afraid to ask don't be afraid to just don't be afraid it's 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 not good to be fearful guys don't be fearful and you know get rid of that spirit of fearfulness because it's not good it will hamper you and it will keep you stagnant okay so do what you gotta do single mamas out there honestly like do it do the damn thing seriously okay you could do it and i just want you guys to be encouraged let's do a quick length track i don't know what the length track is gonna be but i done one in the last video which should be pop up now So it's, so it's there. I think last time we did this side as well. I think this side was shorter, but hopefully it's grew a bit. That's there. there so I don't know if it's grown but hopefully it's grown I'll see when I look back at the video so hopefully it's grown so that's there um yeah if any of you are doing the rice water challenge let me know what you think about it um right now I am going to twist my hair for school tomorrow like really mini twist I will be back this week to show you guys how I style my mini twist or how you can style your mini twist on short teeny weeny hair, teeny weeny afros. 
comment down below like this video guys and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to also tell a friend to that to tell a friend and get them to tell a friend and then that friend might actually tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend like thanks for watching my video tonight guys and that's about it because i'm really tired and i really need to adjust my hair so i'll see you guys again sometime this week see you soon guys bye